Yo, whether you watching from Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, the link in my Instagram, or even moviepilot.com, what up, world? It's 2016, another year started, another list for whoever watching. The 10 movies I am looking forward to the most, three honorable mentions. So let's just get it started. Honorable mention number one, I got Star Trek Beyond. And, uh, yo, everybody knows J.J. Abrams, he just did Star Wars, Force Awakens, so he couldn't do a Star Trek 3. Uh, they brought in Justin Lin. I'm not over the hill excited about that choice, but I liked, like, he directed Tokyo Drift all the way up to Fast and Furious 6, and I like each and every one of those. He, um, he knows how to do action. He, it's a bit over the top. But he can, he can inject something new into the Star Trek series. The trailer came out. A lot of people were not pleased with that trailer. I thought it was cool. I mean, I don't think, like, I love J.J. Abrams' first Star Trek movie. And and I love Star Trek Into Darkness. My, all my questions are, are about characters like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch character, Alice Eve character. Are we going to see them? Are they going to be mentioned? Um... Sophia Butella from Kingsman is the, the chick that's in all white makeup. And uh, Idris Elba plays some kind of goofy looking alien. I mean, I think he's, he's going to kill it and probably be one of the stronger villains all year. So I'm a fan of this series and I can't wait to see where it goes. Honorable mention number two is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. I wonder how many of you guys already turned my video off. But... um. I really like the, the 2014 reboot of Ninja Turtles. It wasn't my Ninja Turtles. It wasn't the, the heroes in a half shell that I grew up with in the early 90s. But um, it was it was really fun. And it was it was it was good, man. It was funny. And I like the fights. I don't care if they ripped off the Amazing Spider-Man's ending. The, another trailer like Star Trek, another trailer that we just got like two or three weeks ago. And I think I think Bebop and Rocksteady look great. My own, my only little gripe about that trailer is actually Casey Jones. He looks like Stephen Amell in a hockey mask. If he's just Stephen Amell in a hockey mask, then that just leads me to believe that Arrow is Stephen Amell in with a bow and arrow. They have they've opened up this world in a better direction than the actual series actually did. Because yes, Shredder comes back in this one. And all we had in the original was Shredder was Seeker of the Ooze. And as much as 80s babies might love Toka and Razor, they're, they're still a poor man's Bebop and Rocksteady. In this movie, we actually have Bebop and Rocksteady. We got the Turtle Van for the first time ever. For the first time ever, a legit Turtle Van and Bebop and Rocksteady. And honorable mention number three is, uh, is Star Wars Rogue One. This is where everybody's turning me off. I love The Force Awakens. If you've seen my top movies of 2015, you see where that landed. And um, I just I want to know more about Rogue One. We have an idea of the story. We have an idea of the cast. But um, I just I just want to know more. And there were just there were just ten movies I was looking forward to more than this. All right, official list time. My 10th most anticipated movie of 2016 is The Nice Guys. Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling, directed by Shane Black, his first movie since Iron Man 3. And like this, it just it looks fun. It just looks like a fun, investigative cop movie about two dudes who I don't really think are cops, but they and they seem to get into shit that they can't figure out how to get their way out of. The, the trailer was great. And it was just one of the better trailers I've seen recently. At number nine, I got The Jungle Book, um, directed by Jon Favreau. It's the, the next incarnation of a live-action Disney movie that is made by Disney. And granted, they're all voices. This is one of the best casts I've seen for any movie this year. Uh, Bill Murray, Idris Elba, uh, Scarlett Johansson, Lupita Nyong'o, Christopher Walken, Ben Kingsley... I mean, how are you? How are you not interested? The trailers were dope. You know, he, Baloo whistles the bare necessities. We don't get no song, but we get the whistle at the end of the trailer. At number eight, probably low for people that know me and what they expect my list to be. But my number eight is Doctor Strange. 
Um, Benedict Cumberbatch plays the title character. I don't know what, too much about Doctor Strange. There was there was an episode in the '90s Spider-Man cartoon where Spider-Man and Doctor Strange have like a an episode or an interaction or an adventure together. He's into wizardry. He's the sorcerer, the sorcerer supreme is what they call him, I guess. He was a doctor, but he was cocky and he got hurt. So I don't. He got powers or something. Rachel McAdams is in it. Chiwetel Ejiofor is in it. Mads Mikkelsen is in this. He's in Rogue One too. Um, directed by Scott Derrickson, who's done I, some successful horror movies. Nothing I want to see though. And just being in the Marvel Cinematic Universe alone gets me hype. Um, I mean, Marvel could release a movie called Unflushed Poop in a Toilet, and as long as it progresses the the MCU storyline, man, I'm in. At number seven, I got Ghostbusters. And um, I just, I don't think Paul Feig has made a bad movie. I love Bridesmaids. I love The Heat. And I think I love Spy more than the, the other two. So um, obviously M Melissa McCarthy is going to be in this. Kristen Wiig, uh, Leslie Jones, Kate McKinnon. That's that's the team. That's the squad. I want to know, like, are they going to bring back Slimer? Are they going to bring back Stay Puff? How original are they going to be? I cannot wait to see uh, Chris Hemsworth play the Annie Potts receptionist role. Like, I like the original too, and I just, everything I've heard about this movie I've liked so far, everything I've seen about this movie I've liked so far, and it's it's gonna, I, I, I just have a feeling like it's gonna be hilarious, but at the same time, super creepy. At number six, and this movie is actually gonna be released by the time I post this video, um, is The Hateful Eight. The new Quentin Tarantino movie. This was an honorable mention on my video last year because I didn't know if it would come out in 2015. I think it came out in select cities. But as far as nationwide, I'm pretty sure that it comes out January 1st. My theater might get it. My theater might not. So don't, don't hold your breath for a review from me. I'll see it as soon as I get a chance. That might not be until Blu-ray. But you know what I'm saying? Got to work with what you got. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell, Kurt Russell's mustache, Jennifer Jason Lee, uh, Tim Roth, Walton Goggins, uh, Damian Bicar, uh, Michael Madsen, Bruce Dern, man, Tarantino's dialogue. I'm pretty sure all the characters are like secluded in this one cabin. You have no idea. I have no idea what twists and turns are gonna be there. I, I cannot wait to see this, man. Like, Tarantino's movies are perfect, man. Shout out to Logic. Uh, dialogue, casting, music, man. Script. It's, it's all so great. At number five, I got Suicide Squad. Um, millions of people, millions of fans, me included, have waited forever to get a DC comic cinematic universe. What they call the DC Extended Universe. I love this cast. I like the director. Um, I'm not 110% sold on Jared Leto just yet. We've I've only seen one trailer. Apparently, there's a new trailer that they're getting ready to release. Um, I think Margot Robbie is perfect as Harley Quinn. I, Will, I, I want to see Will Smith. I've always wanted to see Will Smith in a legit comic movie. I like Hancock, but that was made up pretty much just for him. Would have loved to see Tom Hardy as Rick Flagg, but I, Joel Kinnaman is serviceable, and I think he can really deliver. Um, and and the villains are the main characters. Like Ben Affleck as Batman is in the movie, probably for like one scene, just to say, hey, Batman's in this. Uh, there there are mentions and nods to Superman, maybe Wonder Woman, we don't know. Viola Davis is perfect as Amanda Waller. I just, I have no idea what to expect from this movie, but I just, I get excited just thinking about it. At number four, I got X-Men Apocalypse. Um, the post credit scene to Days of Future Past told us all this was coming. And this, this could be kind of considered a more direct sequel to X-Men First Class, if you think about it. It takes place in the 80s. None of the older, original X-Men characters are in it. Wolverine might be. I, I'm not 100%. But then you got young Cyclops, young Jean Grey, young Nightcrawler, young Storm, along with the First Class crew of McAvoy, Fassbender, Lawrence, Holt, probably some other ones. 
and directed by Brian Singer, just like uh, Days of Future Past was. That was my most anticipated movie two years ago, and it ended up being my favorite movie two years ago. It's like this series, along with the Planet of the Apes series, are the only series that it seems like Fox doesn't butt in and try to try to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Cause we know we know what they did with Josh Trank and Fantastic Four. They can't get anything else off the ground, so it's like they actually trust Brian Singer. And they just they let him actually make good comic movies. At number three, uh, if you haven't noticed, man, I got into the Superman phone booth, did a quick wardrobe change, and at number three, got the Merc with the mouth, baby. Deadpool, just like Ninja Turtles with Bebop and Rocksteady, man. The first time ever we're getting legit Deadpool. This guy, the pale one, he doesn't count. The 2009 version does not count, and. Every, watch when when this movie is that dope everybody's gonna ignore all the other comic characters that ryan reynolds ever portrayed actually ripped apparel man if you can see this has somebody make this shirt with um with deadpool and the finger gun to ryan reynolds as green lantern that shit would be cold-blooded i ain't even hate green lantern though but ryan reynolds for years has been trying to get this movie off the ground that that uh that test that test footage two years ago that shit was epic and I wish they would have kept that song in the movie but I ain't mad at the salt and pepper either when he's like when he's drawing the ouchy picture and then just dives into that truck and I think it's so dope that they reshot the test footage to put it in the movie and then th these trailers have been great the the first one that came out like October or so that that was dope and then the one that just came out on Christmas I liked it better. Glad this got like the Kingsman weekend of, of of release dates because it's so early in the year that not that many good movies are gonna come out. But this is gonna be a this is gonna be a bright spot in the early quarter, the first quarter of the year. My second most anticipated movie of the year, once again, costume change, baby, Captain America: Civil War. Um, Winter Soldier is my favorite MCU movie, hands down. The same directors are coming back. Iron Man is in it. This trailer was epic, man. I cannot wait to see how this movie unfolds. I'm not hugely familiar with the Civil War storyline. I know that Cap's on one side and Iron Man's on the other side. In the movie, I know Black Panther's neutral. I hope that Spider-Man is in it enough to where he's the character that, that flip-flops. But since secret identities aren't a big deal in the MCU, I wonder what his reasoning could be. And if he flip-flops, I, I don't want to give away anything that I've heard because I don't know who, who out in YouTube world has heard what. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited for this movie. I can't wait for another trailer. Like, the trailer that we got was more Captain America's perspective and how everything just got put upon him. So I hope they do another trailer from Iron Man's perspective to see, how, like, to try to give us an understanding of why he's pro, pro government, you know what I'm saying? And Cap is pro freedom. The Sokovia Accords, from what I understand, are because the events of Age of Ultron, like, brought on too many casualties. And then Winter Soldier does something that leads to all this, all this paperwork being thrown at Cap. And then he just doesn't, doesn't agree with it. So, but he he's on the run, similar to Winter Soldier, but he's got supporters this time. He's got, um, he's got, obviously he's got Falcon, he's got Bucky, and then I think Ant Man. If you saw the end of Ant Man, he's on the squad. I don't want to talk so much about this one movie, but you know what I'm saying. As you can see, man, I have to align myself with Steve Rogers, baby, with the title character, Team Cap, all the way. The Rogers 2016. My number one most anticipated movie of the year. I'm a little salty. It comes out so early in the year, but at the same time, that means I can see it sooner. My most anticipated movie of the year, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Another first for 2016, man. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman on the same screen. And then in a, in a Spider-Man type of scenario, Aquaman is supposed to be in this. Cyborg is supposed to be in this. Flash is supposed to be in this. I mean, we just don't know for how long. Everybody's crying that the most recent trailer showed us too much. Yeah, it didn't show me anything I didn't know already. Um, and 
I'm going to be highly anticipating anything that Batman's in. My favorite comic character of all time. Affleck, I never cried about Affleck casting. He looks perfect. Batman looks perfect. Him and Superman are going to whoop each other's ass. But just like in Civil War, just like Batman v Superman, we know that by the end of the movie, something's going to bring all the heroes together and they're going to have to be on the same page. Yo, know, like I just I cannot wait to see how this extends the DC universe, leads into Justice League, leads into it probably won't lead into Wonder Woman or Aquaman solo movie, but those are coming. Man, so that's my list. Ten through one, three honorable mentions. What all are you guys looking forward to? You don't have to limit it to ten, just there'll be some titles. Let me know what you're looking forward to. Um my my list is all comic movies and nerd shit, except for like one or two. Uh, if you don't like that, then you're watching the wrong channel. All my end of the year reviews are posted. Last year's movie talk is posted. Chris Christmas time movies. Um, my my favorite movies of 2015 is posted. Check all of that out. Hopefully, like I said earlier, I got a Hateful Eight review coming soon. It's possible it might not come though, man. Uh, hopefully, my theater gets the Revenant next week. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to see anything else until like until Dirty Grandpa or Kung Fu Panda 3 comes out. Eight if you must. Knock me if you must. But I think this is going to count as my January movie talk. And then and then my, my favorite movies of the year from now on will count as my December movie talk. Be on the lookout for my complete entire Blu-ray collection update coming soon. Like, subscribe, comment. Here's to a good year of movies, man. Peace.